Yeah, so this is the water. We're going to test this water that I that is entering here. Okay. This is the water. Let's see the water pH. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this is water I pumped in into this place, so I'm going to give this some drop. Okay, if you check this, this water, this is this is what the water, this is how what the color looks like, and uh, if I should take this. To the chart you know this should be this acidic but we are actually going to know the acidic content or the water ph that i pumped in here actually this is the like the third the fourth day after pumping it so we're going to check this uh going to check this other water that i've been in here for the past three four days now so this is this water has been here uh -oh, the past uh, three days you know i told you that i'm trying to uh, treat the the pond because of the renovation work that i did here so the water has been here now for the past three to four days so let's see you've seen the uh, the color of the water after dropping in this uh, uh, ph tester uh, so let's see what the color of this is i'm going to immediately after this i'm going to move direct to my office so that because i forgot something down in my office so we know the actual ph of the water that i pump in here and the water ph that i that 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 that, 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 that this water have attained in the past uh, three days to know if it's actually good uh, for fish or not so let's see the color of this can you see this is different from uh, the the uh, the water that I pumped in here three uh, three days ago four days ago is different actually as I said I'm going to go to my office and uh, this is it so that we actually place it on the ph chart to know the the, the the ph of water that i pumped in the ph of water that this have transformed into in three days and as you can see uh what i use here is uh, the plantain leaves the dry plantain leaves that is what is inside this water and it has changed the nature of the water drastically which means you can use these to reduce the acidity uh, to, to to correct your water to have a correct water ph this is plantain leaves as i said so let's see let's go take some sample i want to take some sample of water from my farm then immediately i'll move straight to my office so we see what the actual ph of water that i have and those things that are made of and for some of you you might think that uh, uh, cement is acidic or basically we're actually going to know what uh, uh, cement is if it is acidic in nature this is the cement and i'm going to take some uh, specimen from here to go do the test so you have to please watch this video to the end after after this video if you love it you give it a thumbs up and share it to others so i'm going to take some specimen i'm going to take sample of cement sample of so many things from my farm here Starting from my water tank, I'm going to take sample from my water tank. As you can see, I'm also going to take sample from this uh, pond that you are going that you are seeing here. Uh, so let's let's start taking of sample. Let's begin to take the sample. So as I said, I'm going to take sample from this tank. This is the water I do pump in water direct from the borehole. So this is the bottle I'm going to use. This is the plastic, the bottle I'm going to use to take sample from my water tank. And this is save a life. Uh, sorry.
so I'm going to take sample from here. As I said, we are moving straight to the office to do the actual testing of water so that you know what it is and how to correct your water, what you need to use to correct your water. So this is a sample from my water tank. You can also call it a sample from my borehole. Also, I also take sample sample from here. This that have been treated for the past three days. Actually, as I said earlier, the water that I pumped in here is actually the water that I that you saw there that you see in my tank. So I'm going to take sample from here. You can see the color of water. Can you see the color of water we are having here? So I'm also going to go to the other pond to take sample. Don't forget that this pond is undergoing treatment and this is the water that I've gotten from here. Also taking sample from this pond. There is fish inside. Oh. Uh oh, I think the the fish they are peaceful because they are they are finished eating. So this is the sample of water. This is a sample from this pond that I'm going to also test, so we'll actually know what we'll be using to correct our water. Also, I'm going to take sample from this bag of cement to actually know if cement is acidic or alkaline. Alkaline, alkalic in nature, or alkaline in nature. So I'm going to take sample from this bag. Though it has caked due to the due to moisture, it has caked, but it's still good uh, sample to test. So this cement, and um, I'm also going to go with it. Okay. Also, this is. I also have another thing here that I'm going to review to you once I get to the office. This has been in my farm, so I think. All these are samples, so this is it. Let's go straight to my office. Please don't forget if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, endeavor to subscribe to this channel. This video is very, very important, and every fish farmer needs to be aware of what I'm doing, how you can treat your water, how you can correct your water to have a good water pH for your fish and other stuff. So, this is what I'm having, so go move straight to my office.